Good evening. It's lovely to see you. Thank you very much for popping over just to check out this wee recipe. So for tea tonight, as you know, I made these classic macaroni cheese pies. These are so popular in Scotland. You know, you'll find them in takeaways and cafes and supermarkets all over the place. I've, you know, I've obviously eaten them over the years, but I've never made my own simply because I really don't like making pastry. I am not a baker. But so I kind of shied away from it, you know, because of the pastry element. But this is hot water pastry, which you can't buy. You've got to make from scratch. But, you know, it was so easy. And I'm going to show you that in a wee second. It was so simple and I will be doing this again in the future. But just before I move on, I wanted to say a big thank you, as usual, to the supporters of the channel over on my Patreon page. So thank you again, guys. I'll leave a link to my Patreon just underneath this video. So, yep hot water pastry that's it there that's actually a scotch pie but it's the same type of pastry and you're also going to need some wee tins these are the ones that I used and I'll leave a link in the show more box underneath this video to a link to Amazon with similar pans. You know, it's not an affiliate link or anything. It's just to, you know, if you are looking for them. And as usual, all of these ingredients and their weights will be underneath this video. So the first thing we're going to do is crack on and do the pastry and wait till you see how easy this is. So pop your water in followed by your lard. Now you just want to heat these together gently until your lard melts. Now you don't want this to boil because you don't want any of your water to, you know, evaporate. So once your lard has melted, you want to grab yourself a mixing bowl. To that you want to add your flour and then a pinch of salt. Any salt you like, doesn't matter. Make a wee well in the middle and pour your hot liquid straight in. And I'm going to use a wooden spoon just to sort of gather it all together and make sure it's well combined. Now this is going to be really hot, but as soon as you're able to handle it, you want to get in there with your hand and just sort of smoosh it in to a ball. A nice smooth ball. It'll only take you about a minute, not long at all. And this is what I was looking for. So you want to well flour your surface, plop your ball on, and you want to give this a good knead for about a minute. This actually felt lovely. I could have done this for about an hour. <laughs> so you want to grab your scale and divide your mixture into four balls of the same weight. That's going to give you four pies. I'm just going to grease my, pa my pans with some oil. You can use butter if you like. You want to shape each of your balls into discs. Big enough just to come over the top. You just want to gently lay that in and it will find its own way down. Just give it a wee hand. Be quite gentle with it because it is quite fragile. You don't want to rip it. And then with my fingers, I just went inside the edge just to make sure it was right into all the wee corners. And with my overhang, I just grabbed a knife. And with the back of the knife, I just trimmed away the excess pastry because that's going to give you a nice flush top. So that's why you want your pastry overhanging. Easy peasy. How easy was that? That's your pastry done. So you want to chill these for as long as you can, a minimum of an hour. I gave these ones about five or six hours. I done this in the morning and just left them in the fridge all day. Honestly, the longer you could leave these, the better. The bakers actually leave them about three days. So yeah, a minimum of an hour though. Now we're going to go and do the macaroni cheese. So I think we all know how to boil macaroni, but you just want a big pan of boiling salted water. Let this simmer until it's just about cooked. And while that's boiling away, you can make your cheese sauce. So pop your butter into a pan and you just want to melt this gently and then you can add your flour. You want to cook this for a few minutes until it starts to go foamy. Probably take one or two minutes. It doesn't take long. Once it looks like this, you can start adding your liquid. Just reduce the heat in your pan. I've gone with milk and cream, but you could, of course, just use all milk if you like. I prefer adding a wee bit of cream. It gives it a nice bit of richness. Once it's nice and thick, you can add your cheese. I'm using mature grated cheddar because it's got a nice strong flavour. But again, use whatever cheese you prefer in your macaroni. And it'll turn out lovely and velvety. 
and then I'm going to add in a couple of teaspoons of mustard but again this is completely optional if you don't like mustard don't use it and I was happy with this so my macaroni is just about ready so I'm going to drain this and add in the cheese sauce easy peasy give it a good mix together and then you're ready to fill your pie cases so get your pie cases straight from the fridge and just fill them up you don't want them all the way to the top because you've still got a wee bit of grated cheese still to put on there so this is ideal And the last thing we're going to do is pop on, like I said, another wee bit of grated cheese to the top. This is the cheese that I'm using here. You want to bake these for about 30 to 35 minutes and your temperatures are on the screen just now, depending on obviously what you use. You'll know when they're ready, when your cheese is all nice and browned and your pastry is golden and starting to come, you know, come away from the sides of your tin. So this is ideal. Now let these cool for a good five minutes before you try and get them out of the tin or you will burn your fingers off. These are red hot. Because I'm using Springform loose bottom pans, I had to open mines this way. And mines are still really hot, so I was being extra careful in, ca in case it came off that wee jar. It had just crumbled into a million bits. But there we are, perfect. And the pastry's still got a nice bit of give in it as well. You know, it's not going to break your teeth, or it shouldn't. And we just had ours with some chips and some good old baked beans. A classic 1970s dinner, or 1980s dinner. I remember getting this in the, the 80s. My mother would make this kind of thing. She didn't make her own. They were shop-bought, but yeah, this was a staple in our house when I was growing up. And they were absolutely delicious, as you can imagine. So, I mean, if you like your pies and if you like macaroni cheese you really cannot go wrong with that and the fact that you know I now know how to make the hot water pastry I will be doing scotch pies in the near future I was asked to do scotch pies I've been asked quite a few times actually but the reason I didn't want to do them is because of the pastry but now I think you know it's quite easy I should be safe enough to do scotch pies yeah hot water pastry where have you been all my life <laughs> So thank you very much for popping over just to check out this wheat recipe. And thankfully, it wasn't homemade puff pastry because that takes forever to make. You start making that when you're 32 years old and you're not finished making it until you're 35. It's crazy. So yeah, until I see you next, guys, which is probably going to be my wee shopping haul and then meals over the week on Sunday. Whenever I see you again or whenever you choose to join me again, mind to take care of yourselves and I'll see you off a soon back here on What's For Tea. So bye for now. Bye now.